Hey guys, so we're continuing Holy Week. We did Palm Sunday on Sunday. Today is Thursday, and today's Holy Day is called Monday Thursday. And today, Jesus had a very special meal with some very special people in his life. So we're going to read about that. And first, he started with washing his disciples' feet. And this is from John chapter 13, verses 3 through 30. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. After supper, Jesus removed his outer clothing, he wrapped a towel around his waist, and then he filled a bowl with water. Jesus washed and dried the disciples' feet one by one. Then it was Peter's turn. He said to Jesus, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus answered, I must wash your feet for you to be part of my kingdom. Then he said to them all, as I have washed your feet, you must watch each other's feet. By doing this, Jesus showed his friends how to love and serve each other. Jesus told them, one of you will turn against me tonight. Jesus, his disciples were shocked and said, we would never do that. Who will turn against you? John asked. The one I gave this piece of bread to, said Jesus. And he handed it to Judas and said, do what you must, and Judas quickly left. Then Jesus did something else. He picked up a loaf of bread and blessed it. Then he broke it into pieces, and he gave the pieces to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, This, is, this bread is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took a cup of wine and blessed it. He gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. The time has come for me to go away. Where I am going, you cannot go yet. I am going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you, but I will soon return to you. At first you will be very sad, but do not be frightened. Soon you will understand, and you will be filled with joy. So Jesus had a very special meal with his disciples. And at that meal, he did what we now do called communion. So on Communion Sunday, our priest will do what Jesus did at the Last Supper. He will take and he will break the bread and each of us gets a small piece. And that represents Jesus's body. And we eat it and it gives us sustenance, which is another word for um, nutrition. And then he took a cup of wine in our case, we drink grape juice, but he took a cup of wine and he poured a little bit out for each disciple and he gave it to him and he said, this is my blood that will be shed for you. So if the grape juice or wine, depending on what kind of church you go to, is representative of the blood that was shed for us on the cross when Jesus died. Tomorrow is Good Friday. And we will learn more about what happened on that Friday. And we will, so we're going to pray and then I will see you guys tomorrow. Dear Jesus, thank you for the wonderful gift that you've given us. Please allow us to be nurtured by you through your body and through your blood. And in Jesus name we pray. Amen. I'll see you guys tomorrow.